Hi, this is Paul Banis with GreatDad.com and Pregnancy Magazine, and today we're looking at the Epson XP8500 Photo Expressions Printer. And in recent reviews, we've taken a look at their EcoTank Workforce Printers that use a tank of refillable, the tanks of refillable ink. Those are a different and very innovative model. This one is a little bit more familiar to people using probably the vast majority of home and, and uh, home office printers which use cartridge systems. So in this case we're gonna, we, have a, we have six of these cartridges using Claria inks and the specialty of this printer is photos. So really high quality photo printer we're going to get into that in a second. But um, I want to talk to you first about the printer itself and how it does for a home office because it, it, it's a photo printer so it's really great for anybody who needs wants to print a lot of photos for convenience like for a new family with a baby plenty of photos just to, to share with grandma grandpa uh, brother sister other than everybody else you want to show photos to if you want the convenience of printing lab quality photos at home this is the printer for you and we'll get back into photos in a second but as it also works as a day-to-day -day printer it's not going to be the best solution if what you're looking for is something that will print out lots of black and white documents it probably will get you through uh, tax time and things like that most people aren't printing a lot of uh, black and white copies anyway so but it and it does all those things that a traditional small home office home or home office uh, printer would do it makes very good black and white copies. It has a, uh, a cartridge system for uh, paper off the bottom. So it'll, it'll hold 100 sheets of paper in this lower, this lower uh, paper cartridge, which is good, of different sizes. It'll also, at the top here, take cardstock, odd size cardstock, and will print out uh, in black and white color CDs or DVDs, I don't know who uses these anymore, but it will do this type of, uh, this type of uh, media as well, which is good. The color copies we did tests here, you know, this, this is not meant to be a photo color copy, but it is a good quality photocopy. You can see side by side, uh, not bad if what you need is a quick color photocopy. But as I said, where it really excels is in the photos. And while we sit here, I'm going to just try a demo and see if we can make this work really fast. Uh, the printer was really easy to set up for both, uh, both for my computer and for my iPhone. And if I put a piece of 4x6 photo paper here, put it in the cartridge, I can load that up with up to 20 pieces of, of photo paper. And now I just take, a, take one of the pictures that's already on my iPhone and send it to the printer. It already has the X, Epson XP8500 series selected here, 4x6 color. And let's see if we can get, make it work while we're sitting here. Now it's going to send that photo to the printer. It already says it's printing. Meanwhile, we're waiting for that. I want to show you what we did in tests earlier for 8x10 photos. Now here's a color photo of a, uh, a really vibrant vibrant scene. And my wife was so impressed. She said uh, we should frame this. She, she liked it so much. So really, really brilliant color. And from what I could tell, just as good and maybe even a little bit brighter than the photos that I'm used to getting from Apple, which has usually been my... Uh, my source of uh, printed photos, especially around the holiday times. These seem to be a little bit brighter. Now, I don't think Apple allows this either, but you can't get other finishes. Obviously, you can't get matte finishes or other types of finishes, but they make a really good photo. You can also do a photo with a, a frame if you want it, uh, a, a white border if you want it, so that works out well. Here's one that's in black and white, and you can just see they're very crisp black and white uh, tones. Uh, does an excellent job, as as good as you're going to find, I think, in any any service. So they say they say about 10 seconds for the photos to print. As you can tell, I think I've been talking a little bit longer than 10 seconds, but we're already getting that photo that I just sent to the printer printed out. And it'll be it's very similar to what you're used to with color, you know, color print jobs of the past uh, of the past. Color, the the kind of goes you know back and forth and does the does the photo it takes a little bit of time but it's a great a great solution if um, if you need 
Well, it, if you need uh, need a photo, it's saying the paper is out. So, th th this, this was an un unforeseen uh, problem in that the, the cartridge itself was just off by a, a, quarter of a quarter of an inch. If I readjusted it, it, it set it back up again. So it'll immediately go into printing here. So just starting to print now. They say it takes about 10 seconds to, to, to print. It takes a little bit longer than that, I think, in, in reality. But once you've got it set up, it's... Uh, pretty uh, pretty quick. One thing to note is that the, the paper within the cartridges has to be kind of set correctly or the printer does think it's out of print. Uh, that's one thing I think they, they could improve a little bit on in terms of giving giving directions but once once you get the, once you uh, do a few you get the hang of it really fast. Now um, I'd say in general it's a very good printers, very good quality, uh, sturdy and all the rest. Some parts of it are a little bit I wouldn't call them flimsy, but they're not made for perhaps children's use. So it's not something you might want to keep right, you know, in the kitchen where everybody can everybody can grab hold of it. But uh, I, I think it's a it's a good sturdy uh, sturdy machine. Now, on the other hand, you may it may be a perfect printer for that child who does a lot of projects, needs a lot of photos, maybe is into scrapbooking. It's clearly made either for for young families or for people who really want a lot of media fast. So here's that photo that I that I put in. You can say it was a little bit longer than 10 seconds. So also like very very vibrant, very bright. It um, the one thing that surprised me is that you take it out and immediately you could t it's all it's dry. It's not uh, it's not wet like those old printers used to be where you pull them out and you can already you know you can feel the ink on your hands and even the early ones used to smudge your hands. This just feels like a a print that you get from a lab service. The printer itself, uh, I think the price is a little bit lower on Amazon now. It's about $199. It's not the cheapest printer by far, but I think for what it does and what it's supposed to do, it's it, that's a, a good price. So there it is, the Epson Expressions 80, XP8500 photo printer, specialty printer, uh, available now. I'm Paul Banis with GreatDad.com and Pregnancy Magazine. See you next time.